It's Thursday, April 20th, 2023. Your day with the podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. Check them out at CowboyStateDaily.com. Also being brought to you by YDOT. Remember when there's ice and snow, take it slow. Well, it's going to be chilly. And it's going to be over the next three or four days just kind of raw for most of the region. Northwest winds aloft with a trough over the northern plain states will just kind of hold steady over the area. So when winds aloft come in from the northwest, you're bringing air in from western Canada, the Gulf of Alaska, and you're just going to bring in a cool, moist Pacific air mass that's going to make it chilly, it's going to make it windy, and the moisture will trigger occasional rain and snow shower activity on the plains, occasional snow shower activity in the mountains, and temperatures will be well below average through Saturday. Now, we will end the weekend on a somewhat good note. It won't be much warmer, but enough to notice. And we have a little bit of a break in the weather Sunday and Monday. But by next week, we have another trough come in. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a different type of system. However, for you folks who have very, very dry conditions in Kansas, eastern Colorado, parts of southern and western Nebraska, parts of southeastern Wyoming, down into the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles, this type of system is a little bit of a different animal. And if everything comes together, and it does have to come together, those areas could pick up some badly needed spring precipitation. We'll show you that here in a moment. And then you may be asking, well, is this perpetually the way it's going to be? all the way into summer. Are we ever going to warm up? We've had some warm periods. In fact, we had a, a period that was very warm, but since then the cold's returning and it is going to stick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, but we will have some warmer weather coming. I have sort of an idea when I think it'll start to be more consistently warm. We'll talk about that. Here's today's 500 millibar chart. You can see the low there up in eastern Montana, and it's going to take its sweet time moving eastward across the northern plains. Northwest winds aloft. There you go. If you follow the black lines and you follow those what we call wind barbs, you can see the low will pump in colder air out of Canada. Cold, moist air coming in out of the North Pacific and it's just coming into the high plains and Rockies booked in by two high pressure systems. So you're going to see this pattern rather stubborn. This is Saturday. The low doesn't move much. Northwest winds aloft continue. You're only going to warm up till winds aloft start coming in from this direction or a more westerly direction. So we're kind of stuck in this cool weather pattern here for a while. And the low pressure that's just been wanting to stick up there in the eastern part of the Gulf of Alaska, still there, still wanting to produce weather coming our way. This is what the precipitation forecast looks like between now through 6 p.m. on Sunday. Nothing terribly heavy. You can see the heavier moisture up here in North Dakota, Minnesota, with the low that's going across the border there. Here's some rain and thunderstorm activity, some severe out ahead of the trough. And then the, this pattern where you see across Colorado, Wyoming, back in the Pacific Northwest, this is basically just from off and on periods of rain and snow shower activity coming through. You can see how it's favoring the mountains and west of the divide. So just a cold, moist wind pattern aloft coming in. And that's gonna keep the pattern in place here through probably Saturday. Then, when you look at the snowfall totals, well, we'll add to more snow into the mountains, scattered wet snow shower activity on the plains like we saw in some areas yesterday, then the heavier snow in the northern plains. And these are the temperature anomalies through the next five days. So this takes us through Monday. As you can see, if you want to go find some warmth, you got to go all the way down here. Otherwise, everybody else is going to be very, very chilly. Temperatures are good, 10, 20 degrees or more below average. Now, as we get into Monday, we still have the low up here in the Gulf of Alaska, but a piece of it breaks off and heads into Oregon there. Now, what's been happening is these systems have been taking a track across the northern Rockies and the northern plains, favoring those northern areas. As we discussed yesterday, this system is going to want to go more south, and we're getting more confident that that's going to happen. And we need that to happen for some of the winter wheat country in this area right here in particular to finally get some badly needed precipitation. Those areas have just been missing out all season. And here you go, by noon Tuesday, it's just west of the Four Corners area. So if this pattern holds right here, this low will take a track that'll be more to the south. And this is by Wednesday morning, and it's also moving slowly. So this counterclockwise spin around this low will help draw moisture up into these areas 
into the plain states. And for this time of year, when you get a system later in the spring like this, you have a cold atmosphere high above us, and then you have a warmer, moist atmosphere right here. So as the cold comes in and meets the warm, you're going to have a, a situation that's going to be more productive for areas of rain and thunderstorm activity to develop. High pressure is wanting to build up into this area right here, which I think eventually is going to help the weather pattern change a bit down the road. Here's the precipitation forecast, basically Monday through Saturday of next week. Again, it's a model, so this will change and uh, the numbers will change, but the general trend that we're seeing here of the heavier precipitation across Kansas, Oklahoma, eastern Colorado, southern parts of Nebraska, then into the front range areas of Wyoming where the upslope is going to be forming. So this could be a real huge benefit right here for areas that are really, really dry. This is the heart of the drought right now, right here. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that you folks can get some badly needed precipitation. It should be out in the plains, mostly in the form of rain, but you can see how cold it is over the next 10 days. So some of that could actually be in the form of snow. And that'll be something to keep an eye on towards the middle of next week. Now, when will it warm up? This is out to 10 days from now. So this is by the 30th, by next weekend. You can see that there is a high pressure ridge trying to form over the Intermountain West by late next week and next weekend. It's going to be a slow process, but what is likely going to happen is, is that we're going to probably still see this area of low pressure wanting to go into the Great Basin or be along the West Coast, but the southwest wind flow ahead of it will bring a temperature trend that goes up. But we're not talking about this happening till next weekend and into the first week of May. I know that's a long time to wait, it seems, another 10 days or so, but we do see a bit of a pattern shift by then that should be making it warmer and maybe consistently warmer. But April is going to end up, the last 10 days of April, with below average temperatures. We're going to have to probably wait till that first week of May, I'm afraid to say. Have yourself a good Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow.